I get so weak in the knees, I can hardly speak. I lose all control in something, take over me in a day. Your love so amazing, it's not a place. I want you to stay with me by my side. I swallow my pride, your love is so sweet. It knocks me right off of my feet. Can't explain why your love it makes me weak. My 14 year old niece was listening to this song last night. And, and as I'm sitting there, <clears throat> I'm listening to these lyrics. And you know, these are the lyrics that we listen to our whole life. This is 90s music. This is nostalgic music. You know what I'm saying? But as she was listening to it, I instantly thought, uh uh, turn it off. Hey, bro, <laughs> which is her dad. Listen to the music she's listening to. Now, we know the music. We, we, you know, I get so weak. We be bopping to the music. And I'm just like, hey, bro, turn it off. Because my 14-year-old niece was over there listening to this song, and she's not even realizing what she's listening to. See, one thing that happened when I gave my life completely to God at 16 years old, the first thing he had me do was break up all of my CDs. And I had no clue why I was doing it at that time. But now today, uh, re really the revelation came a while ago, but just realizing why now I see how protective God is. I see why music and what we allow inside of our ears and our eyes is so important because what we allow inside goes directly to our hearts. And a lot of that stuff is unchecked. A lot of that stuff we're not aware of. So while my niece is over there rocking to the music and washing the dishes, what she didn't realize was that she was creating a language that she would potentially use as she branches out and, you know, starts to engage with men, young men, um, as she gets older. In the lyrics, it says, I get so weak in the knees. I can hardly speak. I lose all control and something takes over me. Your love is so sweet. It knocks me right off from my feet. Huh? I can't explain why your love, it makes me weak. Reality is, we don't realize that when we listen to music, what we're doing is we're speaking words over our life. We are literally creating language on how we approach life. And a lot of us women are out here so weak in the knees. You can hardly speak. You lose all control. <laughs> Something takes over you. you. You get what I'm trying to say. We are out here weak. We can't speak. We've lost control and something has taken over us. Real love doesn't make you weak. Real love strengthens you. Real love empowers you. Real love gives you a voice. A lot of times what we think is love is really infatuation. It's really a flesh is really sensational and a lot of times it's really let me just say it demonic it's really spirits overpowering us and we because when it's doing it we see this cute guy in front of us and he fine and sexy and he got maybe he's taking his clothes off or he's taking our clothes off and you feel sexual so you equate that feeling with mm, this is love when in reality is bondage a lot of these songs have led us straight into bondage. So that's why I say, hey, bro, check that, check that. Turn that, turn that music all the way off because I don't want my niece. I don't want this young, beautiful black girl growing up and thinking that that is the language that she should use. That like, like that is OK if she meets someone and she feels weak and she can't speak and and she feels overpowered, like something is uh, is controlling her, and and she's knocked off of her feet. That's that is imbalance. That is a loss of control, which is the opposite of love. That's what somebody does when they want to take over you. They throw you off balance to bind you up, like the enemy does all day long to us women every single day. So be encouraged. Listen to the words that you are listening to. And even if you were raised on this music, realize your babies, their minds are not as wired. They're, they're not as mature as yours may be right now. 
So while you may have learned your lessons and you've got through your trauma and pain, what you're doing is you are preparing them to go right into bondage, trauma and pain. If you want to break the cycle, then break what you're feeding your children. Break what you are allowing your children to feed up on. Allow them to reach freedom much sooner than you ever did. When my bro turned that song off, you know what I did? I prayed. I said, in the name of Jesus, Lord, make her knees strong. Y'all stay encouraged. Peace.